Hi, everybody. I hope you are having a good time. I have been away for a little bit. Uh, I don't need that. We are here for some trivia stuff. Um, with a whole bunch of questions that other people have put together. Uh, answers will be typed in, as Andy explained in the voice chat here not too long ago. Uh, and we'll... Oh, and Andy has a piece of paper and a pen for an old-fashioned scoring board. Or I make Ooh. tally marks. It's very high class. Technical. All right. Well... Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of we've got a lot of a lot of stuff here. So hope you're <laughs> all right. Question number one. Start off here, perhaps a little on the easy oh, side. I did forget one thing. What's that? The winner gets the uh, the dwarf can can from last night. In PDF form, I will email it to them. If you went to Don's Drink and Draw, oh, the dwarf, okay. The the dwarf does have a man bun, but he has very smooth legs. I have it on good. Yeah, Don said so, so I'm sure it's true. So and I will more... say that so far, Owen has won the last two PDFs. So beat up so Owen. So there's more than just bragging rights on the line. It's a, it is a PDF of a piece that um, Don did last night. All right. Question number one. Start off a little easy here, I think. Who or what are fire eaters? Owen's answer. I, I, what do you think? I, I was gonna say, oh, Owen. Mm, we might have to give partial points out because folding a business answer is also a pretty good answer. Yeah, I, 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 I want to give, I want to give Owen a bonus point for for his reference there, but that's fine. <laughs> we can do that. Referring, re, well, we were referring giving out to... quarter. We were giving out. Oh God, we were giving out quarter of points. All sorts of shit last time. I'm just saying. Uh, because we took this very seriously. Scratch is the orc who wrote the essay in Mystic Paths about the fire eaters and is a fire eater himself. So, all right. So I think Owens is in first. And I, I like that Abysses adds to it. I would mm -hmm. see a half point there, maybe. But what do you think, boss? Um, yeah. And does Owen get his extra bonus point? Owen, oh, give give extra, give Owen uh, 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 a half point. Half a point. Half a point. Okay, so Owen gets one point five. And what am I? And I and I, about? and I would I would give I would give Joel a point as well. Well, he doesn't get a whole point. So you may get a half a point because I think point folding a biscuit. Okay. So I think folding a biscuit's a half point too. Okay. Because he specifically says it's a path for orcs. All right, all right. So that's what we're going with. Owen gets one point five. Folding a biscuit has a half, and we're giving Joel a half too. Uh, I yes. See that. All right, I'm with that. All right, Joel gets a half too. Got it. Next question, sir. Next question, actually, I think on the sheet here has the wrong answer. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Question number two. This is Wait. another. This this is another easy one, but it's the wrong answer unless somebody wrote an answer that is not what I'm thinking of when I think of this answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna type at you because I was pretty sure I counted that right. Maybe I didn't. That's why you're here. 
Question, Question number two. Reason we keep you around. How many types of name givers are there? Um, see, I'm, I'm expecting a whole bunch of different answers here, depending on how people are counting them. Maybe I meant just playable. Well, so the, the answer, I would accept either seven or eight. Seven oh, is the see, number of playable... The... Yeah. Seven is the number of playable name yeah. giver races given in the player's guide. Dragons are frequently considered another name giver race. If you start including expanded material like the additional name givers listed in the first edition there in Empire book, then you start getting into some others, but for for simplicity's so, sake, I'm not Joel I see has eight. Yeah, Joel Joel had eight right out of the then... right out of the gate. He's he's good. And nobody had seven, so if you're accepting eight, that means Joel gets a point. Yes. Correct. Joel gets right. the point. Woohoo! And Good I want to give, and I want to give Derico half a point because he had the same answer that is on the sheet here, which is six, which is not in fact correct. No, that doesn't. The fact that I can't count doesn't help that he can't count. Fine, we'll give no. Derico a half a point for the people who point. can't count club. Half, half a point. point for people who can't count. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one I missed. I'm thinking it's obsidian. Um yeah, well so you've got uh, thinking you've got like it. you've got the four uh human, dwarf, elf and troll. You have human, elf, dwarf, troll. Yeah, or and then you've got troll. Then you've got wingling to scrang and obsidian for seven. Oh. Well, hold on. Uh, you just had no, a, eight. eight fingers. You just held up eight fingers. I I so it's, dragons would be hold nine. On, hold on, we forgot yeah. to string. We both for okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, for, I yeah, was forgetting. I... I was forgetting. Um, but sadly, I think I was not counting trolls when I was doing my initial. So okay. eight, eight. The list we'll, that I we'll gave you accept... didn't have to string. Yeah. The... So we're take, we're taking eight, but we'd we're also take, take nine then, eight. which means Falal, Katan, Vross would get a point. Okay. Because if you said dragons count, then that would be one more. So if it's eight, it then be, one more is nine. nine. Right. Yeah. I can't count I've got, I've got your guys. Yeah. Ross gets a point. But Joel still gets his point because he had eight right off the bat. So, ha. Huh. Okay. And it turns out no one at Fossa can count. Yes. There you go. Well, but as, I said, <laughs> as I said back in the Earth on panel, there is a reason that we have books to refer to and not gray cells because we're getting old because well because we are getting old and we poison them with alcohol when we all are together and you're a lightweight so and i yeah, i am a, i am a lightweight <laughs> just so you know That's just so you okay. know this should be a question who can drink who on their table can i drink can i drink him under the table, or does he, he drink me under the table no andy can absolutely drink me under the table as our <laughs> as our trip to poland uh, a little over, oh. almost, oh God, almost two years Dude. ago. Dude, me, me and uh, Basti just looking at y'all like you're sad, you sad people. I'm, hey, look, I'm, I am not, <laughs> I, I do not have any kind no. of macho pride over, or shame oh. over the fact that I only drink as much as I think. It means okay. that I don't spend as much money on booze. That's a good point, but as a girl, I hardly ever have to buy booze. Speaking of... Polish vodka. <gasps> I broke into mine this year. I did. I broke into it's mine. pretty good. Tail end of last year. I did. Yeah. Um, I've been, just, I've been yeah, just the very end of it. With it. As far as Owen, I used to be able to drink anybody on the table. Sometime, if I ever do tipsy talking on here, I will tell the tale of drinking the uh, Trekkie convention under the table. But not today, children. Not today. All right. Moving on. Yes, sir. Question number three. We're starting to get into the more more obscure, perhaps more difficult things. These will be back and forth. Some of these will be easy. Some of them they won't. are. Question number three. Who or what is Purity Storm? I didn't know this one. I would have known where to be before. I wouldn't have known it off the top of my head. 
I have a cheat sheet. Oh. Joel, with that, I will certainly accept that. Certainly got, um, I, I will give Joel the point on that one. I'll give bonus points to anybody who can uh, name her um, race and name give her race and discipline. I got to go back. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, okay. Good job. Joel gets a point. Marking it down. There he goes. Yeah, Joel gets the additional half point. I mean, he, he apparently had her show up in a game recently, so. No, you, no sorry. Wow. Sorry, Robin. You can't say hi to the people. Your claws yes, need Robin to be trimmed. Can. Hi, Robin. Well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, her, her claws need to be trimmed, and so if she gets into my lap, she digs in hard, and it hurts. And I don't want that right now. Love hurts. Love from cats hurts. Yes. <laughs> Playing the game is cheating. <laughs> Question number four. <laughs> That's like reading the book. Four. Question number four, sir. Question, Question number four. four. What is the name of the free PDF that kicked off the Legends of Bar Save Living campaign? This one should be easy. This one this one should be easy. Yeah, we put in some easy ones so that it wasn't so horrible. Because some of them, they're freaking Jesus. You should have seen some on the fossil one. Especially some like Brad's. Like, what the? I don't, what the fuck on a train? I don't even know what that is on a train. But okay. <sighs> Case Scott's answer is interesting, but not quite. Ooh. It's weird. I don't know how we're going to accept what you want to do with that one. I, I would be willing to give half a point to that because I realized once he gave the answer that that's probably valid, but it was not released first. No. That's and I get what, what he's coming from, too. That's why I, I, get actually, where, well, I get where he's coming from. I know why he did that, but that is not actually what was released. Pretty sure that wasn't yeah. chronologically I mean, I actually released so. first. Plus, I thought that that came with the... Never mind. But no, I don't think well, it did, and it's free. But yeah, but yes, yeah, but but yeah, but that's why I pointed it out because that was perhaps not what we we're looking for, but it's a damn fine answer. It is, it is a damn fine answer, hence half a point. Okay, so oh, somebody I, just linked a whole. I'm ignoring you, Morgan. Official. That's Morgan. Is that Morgan? That's Morgan. Sorry, I yes, don't have that. We're ignoring I, Morgan. I've got that in the background of my thing, so I can't actually see it. It's Morgan. I know it is. Morgan. It's Morgan. Okay. okay, I don't see anybody no, with the... No, Morgan, with the we appreciate that, but Morgan, you can't earn any points. Yeah, no points for Morgan. I mean, I think this he gets all... No other he gets, to give Morgan, case the full point. Morgan gets all the points from us, just not in the trivia contest. Here you go, Morgan. I will send you the picture of the dwarf PDF can can for just for the hell of it. You're welcome. Um, but I think this is someone came up with the answer. We were thinking of Hey Scott should get the answer. Should get the full point. Okay. The we were actually looking for the Haven um guidebook. For Haven. The Haven guidebook, which included the introductory info on the various companies and the uh pseudo random thread item generation thing among other little bits and pieces however k scott you're now on the board with a point next question sir question number five what happened supposedly to queen Fela? This is one where I, I don't know who submitted this question, but this is one where I feel like I need to go to the book just to double check because. I did, and I did, did go through the book. You did double check? check? Okay. Yeah. Yep, I'm yep, pretty yep. sure. I'm not losing it my old age. I think I can even find the page. Oh, I know where I'd find it. Uh, but yes. 
I, I, you can double check my double check, but I am pretty sure. I almost typed out the full sentences. Yes. Because that's why yep, I have no, the you're, um, you're, certain yep. word in there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I can't count, but nobody. I managed uh, reading today. Yeah, nobody. Nobody Nobody's has, got nobody has come close. I can. This is actually a tricky one. A few more sentences. A few more seconds. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Scott just got it. Yeah. I, I think. You're lucky I gave you a few more seconds there. Good job typing. Yes. Dahlia was the one that was killed by Alamaze, which is the one that everybody was thinking of. Um, Fela was the other one who uh, supposedly walked into Oak Hart's hollow trunk and was never seen again. Oh, did Joel mention? I don't think Joel had that. I'll go back. Well, I mean, Joel, Joel apparently, uh, Shark Force is quoting and saying, unless she's the one who went into Oak Hart. Hold on. Let's see. I've got Joel saying she was eaten by Alamaze. Uh, nope. He says, unless she was eaten, was the one who went into Oak Hart at 8.23. And we missed that. In case Scott had it at 8.24. So, okay. yep. I'll give, a, give a point to both Sorry, of them. Sorry, Scott. Now give a point to both. Give a point to both of them. All right. Because because we didn't Joel, see Joel's thing because he was being a little bit. He wasn't being quite as direct. Um, and I will neither confirm or deny Joel's most recent comment about her being a Lakia in a fake beard. No, she is not a Lakia in a fake beard. Okay. She's a Lakia with those fake glasses and a nose. Yeah. Those little little Groucho Marx glasses. <laughs> yeah. Not a fake beard. Okay. She's pretty. Super, super easy one here, I think, folks, to test your typing speed. To get your <laughs> get your fingers limber. What is the name given to the disaster slash phenomenon that allowed the horrors into the world? Oh, 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 Owen. Owen is a super fast typist. Yeah, if you see some of the rest of these, you'll know why there's some easier ones in there. Oh, yeah. We have to encourage them. <laughs> All right, moving on. Number seven. What is the area of the Serpent River associated with the Tuscrang House Sirtis? Bonus points if you can give the less commonly known answer. Oh, there's one up there already. Yep, Falal. Falal does uh, get four points. We, we accept that. That's one of mine too. There, there is another less. Uh, there is a. It, it's a much more obscure reference, but it is valid. Can you tell that I went and looked through the books? <laughs> well, I would. That's how I double thing. check things. Make sure I had the right answer. Remember how long when you put me on the spot? How long it took me to come up with that question for? when we were in Poland? Yeah. Because I was I trying just to come up that with something. that was lag. Well, no, not by <laughs> then. That was like the last day. I was caught up on that by then, but it was... <laughs> I was giving you... Oh, oh, come on. That was your excuse for the drinking thing was the jet lag, and that was the night no. before. So I was assuming it was still... <laughs> All right, no, well... it's hard, because it's either too easy or it's too crazy. All right. Yeah, Lala Gorge is the... Give it to, um, yeah, Lala Gorge is the, Lala Gorge is part of it, it's is, part is of part it, of it. The it's other, the, again, the it's reason. an obscure reference, I give the him other a half is point. Silver Crescent. Joel, you get a half point. Give Joel a half point? Okay, sorry, excuse me for yeah. belching into the You're microphone fine. here. So Silver Crescent. Yeah, Silver Crescent. It's the name of the whole region. I think it's like only got like ref referred in like one or two places, so. It, it's that's an easy one, uh, one I would, that I, I know would, of. Yeah, I don't think off the top of my head. All right, number eight. Getting back to Legends of Bar Save, the Living Campaign. 
name. How many do you want to do? Do we want to give a point like for each that people name or? Let's do a point for each one that they name. Okay. Name as many of the adventuring companies that players are allowed to join in the Haven Living campaign. I like Acme. It's wrong, but I like Acme. Uh, okay. One. K. Scott has one for sure. Owen gets one. Owen has one. Yeah. K. Scott gets two. Owen gets a second. Okay. They between the between yeah between the um between the two of them they nailed all five like right out of the gate. Wait. That's K. Scott got two. Owen got two. Who well, got the? K. Scott gets K. Scott. No, um, Owen gets two. K. Scott got three. K. Scott got three. Okay, got yeah, it. Scott, okay. He he. They're going he, really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give give half a point to uh, Suplis because he actually named the full name of the uh, gardeners, yeah. which was not mentioned. So we'll give... Oh, that's putting Suplis on the board. Suplis, yeah. you're on the board now. Um. I won't do the trick question that I immediately thought of there, which is what is the colloquial name for the curators? <laughs> it's a trick question. They don't have one. As the notes say, they're too boring to have a nickname, um, which is not true. They just have a short name to okay. begin with. Question number, number nine. nine. Yes, we are all done with that question. Question number nine. What is the primary function of Travar's body of five? Oh, right there. Right there, Joel. Right there, Joel. Okay. Somebody get Joel drunk so he doesn't type so fast. I'm helping. <laughs> All right. Moving on to more recent products. Question number 10. Who are the Malachite Guard? That's true. Joel is doing very well for uh, being across the pond. Um, did you see Owen's answer? Um, I would accept Owen's answer. Um, I would also give K. Scott and Joel half points because they did get in pretty quickly with the same basic thing. Number 10? No, that, uh, that was, was That was no, number 10. Was Moving 11. on. Number yes, 11. Sir. What is the term for Queen Alakia's advisors and chancellors, the collective term for them. See, I brought in the easy ones. You guys should appreciate me for bringing in the easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, accurate. That is not the. That is that's, not the answer we're looking for. Shark Force gets half. An, gets a, it, they get Shark Force gets a half point. Uh, then, then relative dimension gets half a point for the pun. And Veras gets the full point. And Veras gets the full point for the actual answer with the correct spelling, no less. Right. All right. Gotcha. All right. Next. Number, number 12. Another super easy one. Spelling will matter on this. What is the generic name for the underground shelters that people built to live in during the scourge? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, they're uh, fast. I, wow, Shark yeah. Force? I think, I think Shark Force was first. <laughs> this is a typing speed question. <laughs> All right. Uh, Number 13. The one after 12. 
question 13. Unlucky 13. Lucky 13. Amazing 13. Uh, Wait. Hold on. Owen says that there's... So, Owen, yours says that yours comes first. Oh. Ours says that ours comes first. Oh, in... Apparently, they came in basically right on top of each other. So, and Keir Scott's also, all, all three of them came in at exactly 8.33. I mean, 8.33 is a full minute, but mine has it, Keir, with the, Shark Force, the, the then time, Owen, then the time stamps, The timestamps on mine have Shark Force, Owen, K. Scott, uh, Falal, and Joel, all with the correct spelling and all time stamped as my time, 9.33. Yeah, because there's, yeah, but that's 60 seconds. So... How are we gonna? What are we gonna do with it? Because mine also has shark force first. I I let's. Do you want to do boss? Let's 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 give let's give Owen half a point, because that's there's there's some there's some time delay there. Okay. I can go I can go play back the video, but no, we won't do that. <laughs> We're gonna go go play back the video. Gotcha. We All right. Do. It's All right. Uh, wonderful question thing about the thirteen. Internet. Quit saying that number. Um, yeah, o Owen is saying that whatever order it shows up to you, since you're sort of the one. That's okay. Because I like Owen. I'm still giving him the half point. So there. Ha. Huh. Thirteen. Take that, Owen. I like you. You get a half point. What are Oathshar trees? And what are they used for? I see typing. No. Also no. This is a this is a semi obscure one. Kinda. But okay, this is part of the book that I remember working with, so I right, give them another like ten seconds if they don't have the answer. I like growing passion fruit. That's a good answer. Okay, give them the answer, sir. Oathshar trees are a tree native and unique to the uh, area around Iopos that once marked safe camping grounds and waypoints, and now they are the things upon which um, bounties are posted. So nobody, nobody really got close on that. So yeah, that's that's an Iopos reference. If you haven't gotten through that book, uh, then that may be why. It's a good book. It is a it is a great book. For, fourteen, for, sir. Uh, fourteen. Uh, what year, by the Throlic calendar? Did the first Throlic scouting parties set out after the Scourge? And we're only given a limited amount of time so that you can, can't can just go and look it up. Oh, but, but right there. Owen, I think. Owen is correct. 1409 yep. is the correct year. 1410, I believe, was when... Um, might have been the first one that survived set out but 1409 was when the first ones it was set out and was killed within hours of departing no one says it ends happy for everybody 15 15 who was the first individual to hold the title of first minister they're doing really good though they're doing pretty well they're scoring much better than they, we did at the, the general one. Oh, I imagine so. Bill Dinerastis is very close, Owen. <laughs> Bill Dinerastis Bill. made a big thing. In, that, uh, that Bill. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, no, he he was a big name in the, the FOSA trivia. <laughs> not Ool. Ool would become Ool. much later. 
Yeah, we keep saying Ool's old, but not that old. I'm gonna give it a few more seconds because I see some people typing. No, not Alicia. Vidar! Hey, right yes. there, Shark Force. Shark Force did get it with Vidar. Taking it. Excuse me. Vidar the for first. One quick second. Sure. Uh, the battery in our mouse is dead. Okay. There are batteries in the kitchen right in front of the knife block, so you should be able to get a replacement there. Okay. Sorry. Technical I'm difficulties. Giving too much time. Our, uh, the, the mouse for the kid's computer downstairs battery is dead. That is a bad technical problem. All right. We, uh, we got all sorted ah. out answers on that. Sixteen, yes. Vidar the first. Vidar the first. Sixteen. Name all three of the mad passions. Mwahaha. Uh, K. Scott. Uh, is that correct? K. Scott is correct, except he didn't spell Vestrial correctly. Um, so I would give uh, half a point to Falal for getting in just after with the correct spelling. Okay. And I'll give half a point to Owen for using um, for using former names of the Mad Passions. We're getting fancy here, aren't we? Yeah. Number seventeen. 17 we will give boy this is this is a this is a tough one um not including because it's already been mentioned not including the prologue masks of fear name one or as many as you can of the adventures in uh actually released thus far in the Legends of Barsafe campaign series. Owen's got two. Uh, I will not accept that answer, K. Scott. You're on the right track, but it's not correct. Uh, you, K. Scott does get a point for Heavy Metal Queen. Uh, Owen is now at three with separation anxiety, lip service, and toys in the attic. Uh, he probably just has them on his shelf and is just reading the titles off. Uh, that which was lost, <laughs> that's four for Owen. Owen's competitive. Ten seconds. Nine seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. They've all stopped talking. That's it. Okay. So I counted four for Owen and two for K. Scott. Uh, I think just one because he said brain crush. The actual oh. name of the adventure is brain scratch. Gotcha. 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 I said close, but not, not quite. No cigar. Uh, Toys in the Attic got mentioned by Owen before you brought it in, I think. Oh, we can double check real quick. Because I know those two came out. But it, Mine also shows Owen before K. Scott, but it's, again, it's that right on top of each other yeah. during this. It's okay, Owen, or K. Scott. I'm gonna you're, give you you're, doing a, you're doing a good showing. You're do, you've got a good showing going. All right. Um, Get you half coin. Question... Uh, this is actually question 18 because it looks like some formatting on the sheet here got a little messed up. Name at least two of the four population centers described in Empty Thrones. Oh, yep. Nope. Sorry about that. That's fine. That's my fault. Uh, 
Uh, Ross? Bilal... No. Yes. Well, hold on. Yes. No, it's uh, Joel. It's Joel that's a no. Right. Joel got one of them. One of. He... Hold on. So I've got Joel having none of none of them. No, he does one. He has right. one of them. And then Ross has the one plus the one of the others. Yep. So a point for each so far. Sure. Okay. Uh, Iopos is not technically one of them. There is something more specific that we're looking for as part of that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Answers, O oh Lord Master. The other answers are specifically Counselor's Plaza, which is a district, a neighborhood in Iobos. And the other one not mentioned, which I think is what Joel was thinking of, but didn't have the right name, is Freewater. Um, Claw Ridge does kind of show up, but uh, only in the sense that one of the events kind of relates to it, but there's no real information about it presented in the book. Number I think 19? I think the um, the storm runs near Claw Ridge at the end, or something. So no, it's, I think it's mentioned, but it's not a. Yeah, a, it's, it's not. A, it's not. A, it's not a hub. It's not a, a center for like event for one of the story arcs. Who or what are the begotten? Begotten. B e g o t t e n. Boring chapters in the Old Testament. <laughs> yeah, it was at the beginning. So and so begot, who begot, who begot. Yeah, I remember that part. All, all the begats. Yeah. When you realize what that means, it's not so boring. There's a whole lot of not boring going on within begotten. I don't know. I I, I never found begat, begotting to be particularly boring. Yeah, and not if it's done right. When we begot, it's good. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, I'm counting slow because people are typing, four, three, come on, relative dimension, two, nope. Um, Owen is closest, but I'm not going to give him any any um, credit on that. Uh, the Begotten are a secret society organized to uh, save and protect Dragonkin from Bloodline, which is another secret society in Iopos that is dedicated to uh, doing nasty things to or stopping out Dragonkin or Denarastus family members that are not uh, towing the line. Number 20? Number, Number 20. 20! How many so-called great Rennells are there in the Bloodwood? Oh, K. Scott right there. Yes, right out of the gate. Number 21. 21. There are four tail dancer schools described in Mystic Paths. I'll give you a point for each one you can name. There's one, Shark Force. There's one. Uh, Joel gets one as well. Joel gets one as well. I like the Gilliard. That's pretty funny. Juilliard. Yeah, I, know. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I know. I did the, the School of Dance, but I thought that was funny. Uh, Shark Force gets Edo? another point. Yeah. Yep. Edo. Shark Force gets another point. There's one more. Uh, Scora was already mentioned, Owen. That was the first one out of the gate. No, I thought the first one out of the gate was the Chitard. Nope. Scora was first by. Um... Oh. oh, yeah. You're right. So we're, there's just one more. And it's the hard to spell one. It's it's so probably the hardest to spell five, or think of. Four, three. Yeah. Two, Joel, oh, under right the wire, there. certainly close enough. We know what you were going for. 
Shavoa Vara. Good job. 22? 22. Uh, spelling counts. Which passion is usually associated with justice, compassion, and truth? Uh, K. Scott was first in my feed here with the correct spelling. Yep. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Another fairly easy one. Who is the current mayor slash headsman of Haven? K. Scott. K. Scott again. Uh oh. I don't know what the point totals are, are looking at here. Uh, really freaking close. Yes, it was Bill Denarastis. Bill, again. Bill Denarastis. That that rascal <laughs> Bill. Rascal Bill. There's a money one, and he's was like, "What was the money in Iopos?" And he's like, "Bill Denarastis." <laughs> All right, uh, I believe twenty four. Twenty four. According to the fourth edition Game Master's Guide, what year is considered the present day? Oh, right there, Joel. Joel, first out of the gate, 1517. That is correct. Damn, they're getting close. Um, 25? 25. Um, where would you hear, what city would you hear the Synod dialect in? I'm going to rephrase that because I think that works better. Look at 26 and see what you think, because I liked it, but at the same time, I was afraid that it was maybe something that would be too... See what you think. So you're talking about the next question? Yeah. Uh, Joe, by the way, got the correct answer on Synod dialect. Joe... Um, Relative dimension, sorry. Joe. Relative dimension, Joe. Gotcha. Travar is the correct answer. It is the sort of specialized uh, jargon that the Synod, which is a, a sort of merchant group in Trevar, use. Um, so how do you feel about the, the companion question? Uh, I will rephrase it because I think I know what you're getting at. Okay. Um, no, well, no. Actually, I think we, I understand what you're getting at. Um, what is... In the Companion, in the Earthdawn Companion, in this section we're talking about enchanting, what is an enchanting pattern compared to? I'll give you a hint. There are three things. Yeah, there are a couple. A there are three different things that it's sort of referred to be like. It's a mixture of. Recipe's one of them. I see yeah. that shark force. Derrico has Derrico one. Derrico actually did get one. Blueprint is correct. Derrico on the board. Nine, eight, seven. And Joel, six, Joel gets the, Joel the third one. All right. Next question, sir. Um. All right. Empty Thrones features the return of some prominent first edition non-player characters. Name one of them. Oh, 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 right there. Joel is first Joel. with a point. Varas. Varas gets the second. Um, That's not that is not a bad answer, Derrico, but it is not one of the ones we are looking for because he doesn't even really show up that much. And... No, it's and... not built in Erastus. <laughs> it's always sorry. There is there is one other. Um, probably the the most obscure one. Um, Starts with no, Ool, yeah, Ool, Ool is not one of them. Ool is has like Ardelia and Jada were both like not really mentioned prior to their appearance in Empty Thrones. So we're looking for 
somebody who was mentioned in first edition, but not really mentioned again until they showed up in Empty Thrones. Okay, they didn't get it. They aren't getting it. Pegram Tor, who was a uh, magistrate or one of the significant figures associated with the city of Jarus. I forget exactly uh, what, what her position was. We have time for a few more. A couple more, a couple more. Um, uh, there are three founding Rennells of the Western Kingdoms. Name any of them. There you go, Joel. Joel gets one. There are two more. That's the easy one because they also are in the Bloodwood. They're kind of in a lot of things. Yeah. They, they had their fingers in many pies. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, no. Joel, Joel is under the wire with oh, the second right. one. Okay. Yeah. The the third is Trisrora. T R I S R O R A. Next question, sir. Uh, next, next question. question. Which passion is commonly associated with revelry, victory, and motion? Spelling again Spelling. matters. Ooh, shark force. Uh, like shark force, dark? and did did spell it correctly? Yes. Force. All the, right. The W is important, hence the the spelling. Uh, unless somebody beat shark force to it. Nope. I just saw shark force. That's okay. the first one of mine. Um. Next question. I think we can get to what's labeled as thirty, but it's actually thirty-one. Okay. Um. What do you think? Sure. Name one of the two thread items given out as adventure rewards during the Legends of Barsave Haven Volume 1 Compendium, or the first eight adventures of the Legends of Barsave campaign. Uh, there are two thread items that are received as rewards. Case God is close. Case God is close. Suplice actually Suplice did get has it, right. has, has it right. Suplice gets the point. Um, and yes, I will. The original, I will accept Suplice's answer for the second as well because the name did change during the course of development on those. Okay. The, the other name the, was. Yeah, in the in the original. Ashcan release, they were referred to as Parlength badges. They got renamed to Bountiful badges with later supplements. Ah, so alrighty. I will accept two points. Both of them there. Fantastic. Uh, last question? Yeah. Okay. What are the thrice woven flesh forges? My answer is icky. Your answer is icky, and they, I mean, they are icky. Joel has an answer. Shark Force has an answer. Uh, Brosses. Joel's was first, so we'll have to see how you want to score this. Yeah, Bill, Bill's Playhouse. <laughs> Bill Denarastis' Playhouse. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I would. I will give there. None of them are. Uh, don't don't include the little detail that you have in your answer on our written sheet here, um, which is that not only are they the caverns where the Denarastis do nasty things and experiments and modify people and horrible things, the caverns themselves actually also kind of appear to be molded from living flesh. Cause icky. Because they're the Denarastis and they're creepy. So who, how are you wanting to do points? Uh, let's give half a point to, to all three of them because they were all close. So that's Joel gets one and Shark Force gets one and Bross. 
All right. All right. Drum so roll. What do we, drum. Joel. Who won? Joel. Joel. Who is very closely followed by Owen and K. Scott. Were they tied or? Not that close. Joel actually has like 14 and a half points. K. Scott has 11 and Owen has 11 and a half. Oh, Owen just edged out K. Scott for the second place. Yeah, it was it was very close. You guys did really, really well. That was good. I like that. We had like another like 10 questions, seven or eight questions left to go, but well, we are out of time. Want... Yeah. I was going to say we can't go over time because it's our birthday bash next and we're going to play games together. I think I'd rather play games. Ha. Huh. We'll go do shenanigans. And are you guys all staying to okay, play wait, shenanigans with us? Um, what? One, one last question because I just scrolled down and saw the last answer. Oh, did you see it? And I want okay. to ask this one. Okay. Who is Metaxas? Ha! Wrong, wrong, and wrong. Wrong, so wrong, far. wrong, wrong, wrong. I mean, yes, but no. No. Shirley Passion. Shirley Passion. Shirley, did Morgan Shirley. Morgan renamed Morgan changed his neck? That's Morgan. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, he's no longer the Great Ruiner. He's now the Surly Pastor. Dang it, Morgan, you bastard. Um, Veras is closest. Technically, Metaxas is a scribe and scholar at the Great Library. He is, in a way, my avatar in the game. But yes, it is also my username in the forums because Metaxas is actually an NPC from the first long-term Earthdawn game that I ran who was a scribe and information broker and such based out of Barter Town, uh, who was a significant NPC. And around that time, when I was getting my first email addresses, I decided to use Metaxas as the first part of it. Joel, send me your email. <laughs> All right. Well, so that does it for our yeah. Earth Dawn yes. Trivia Challenge here at... FreedomiaCon 2021. I hope you all Bye, have a good time. Attention.